First of all, tongues are wagging after Manchester United's official club magazine revealed that one of the team's players had burned an extremely delicate area with hair removing cream. <laughs> now it's claimed the mystery player lost a layer of skin just 24 hours before a big match. And while a source revealed it's not one of the current first team players, there are many men on the pitch whose beauty regimes are extensive to say the least. <laughs> so, I suppose the burning question is, Lisa, ah. have you ever had any grooming disasters? <laughs> what was he using that he took his skin off? Hair removing cream. Oh, oh my oh. God. Why would you do that? Well, uh, to remove it hair. was, by his face, it'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he stood there with his legs crossed, watching the ball go past. <laughs> Actually, can I can I just say I've I've made that mistake, and he wouldn't be with his legs crossed. No, he'd be walking like John yeah. Wayne. <laughs> I've done that. It was meant that. for you know taking Intimate hair areas. off. Why yeah, does I mean, it burn? Perhaps he left it on for a couple of days or something. <laughs> I mean, it's easily done if you don't read those instructions, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I haven't actually had a hair removal disaster, mm. although it, it turned out to be a hair removal disaster because I, I was at, um, I was doing a TV show and I was in the makeup chair and I borrowed some eyelash curlers and was chatting away in the mirror like you do. You know, you've got to slot them in between that bit of metal. And I went like that and I took them away and I thought, oh, it feels a bit cold around my eye. <laughs> I thought, it's like someone had taken my little coat off. <laughs> and my eyelashes were all in the eyes. <laughs> It was in the thing like that. <laughs> Don't exaggerate. Are you sure they weren't false ones that you forgot to take off? Yeah. No, no, it was my because yeah, I had I had one eye hairy lashes. eye and one bald eye. <laughs> and then I did and then a very clock I mean if I'd have been a model I could have sued for thousands, couldn't I? And then I had a, a bit of an accident with a well it wasn't an accident. I was doing my pits with a bick. Or and any was, other plastic razor. Oh, yes, exactly. I, I'll use anything, me. <laughs> um, and I was on... It was a little mirror. I was in digs, and I had to get on the chair because I couldn't see the mirror. And I was doing that in the mirror like that, and I thought, oh, I look a bit hairy on the old... Uh, and I went like that. <laughs> shaving my top lip. <laughs> like a bloke. You've, well, exactly. And I was, as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, what have you done? <laughs> look at end up... Anyway, I did Father Christmas that year at Selfridges, you know. <laughs> But seriously, it was, a, it was a split second where I just had, like, an out-of-body experience. And now, girls, I'm a little bit hairier there than I want to be. Oh. oh no, you're not. You're lovely. Can you see? No. No, have you been at it again? No, I'll bleach it now. Did you have a this morning? <laughs> you know, do you know those machines that rip the hairs out of your legs? Like, the, the, I've been using them for years, so they don't hurt anymore. They're epilator. Yes. Do you know those things? Yes. Well, um, I did it once, and I kind of forgot that I'd done it. And then I put fake tan on. Oh, no! And because it had, like, ripped the hairs out and the, the little, you know, the little pores were kind of open, it looked like I had polka dot legs. <laughs> for about three days. And I couldn't get it off because it had sunk into the hole. Yeah. So it was almost like I had to wait for the hair to grow out before I could get it off. I was scrubbing somebody could, it. Somebody could have played a game on your leg. Yeah. What's that game Dots, you have to yeah, yeah, It looked like I was wearing... <laughs> It looked like I was wearing decorative tights. Karen <laughs> 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 Giffen, they're all the rage. Oh, oh they yes. are, actually. They are all the rage. The of summer. <laughs> well, but, you know, I mean, it's not... Men do use those creams. I know this unnamed footballer who's um, too embarrassed to admit who he is, you know, might feel he's alone. But he's not, because I, I... But a lot of the time, it's wives who do it for husbands and girlfriends do it for boyfriends and this sort of stuff. I... Steve's at home a bit poorly, so I hope he's not watching. Look away. <laughs> um, sometimes he gets a little bit of hair on his back, just there. Not a lot, just a couple of little bits. Oh. Not, not in a, you know, he's not like... Um, <laughs> oh. I had a really strange image then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so what I do is I put a little bit of the hair removing cream on and then and take it off. He hates it, though. He, he prefers it when I wax it. And I must admit, if I'm a bit cross with him, it's really satisfying. Yeah. You go like that. <laughs> Slap! <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It really. Yeah. It doesn't work. So it's only a couple of little yeah. bits. But yeah. I, you know, I think it's a bit. You know, Mark's quite hairy actually, but in, hairy in the right places. Like it's not. It's not on his back yet, and it's not. Ev yes. It's not every. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> end up with it, don't they? Yeah. But it, it's, it's when he hits puberty, there's he'll... quite... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, he's hairy in the right places, but he's, he's quite hairy in those places. So I kind of suggested one day that he... That he trim it. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry, do you know what I was talking about? Well, he yes. trimmed it. Yes, he trimmed it. But... Better than plaiting it, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Or bleaching it. I 
I'm sorry. It's going to kill me. But, um, yeah, I did. I suggested he trimmed it. So he did trim it, but he trimmed it a little bit too much. Right. And he actually... <laughs> I'm looking like, like a 12-year-old boy. Again. Honestly, <laughs> he took everything off oh, and no, it was not all good. gone. Well, I said, you? where is it? Where is all that hair? I was worried about the bath plug being all blocked no, up. I have, say, I have to say to you, my ex, he shaved his whole body once and I knew then he was having an affair, but I'm not saying anything. <laughs> But I what? No. Oh, uh, but no, 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 no. I made him do it. Yes, that's, that's, the, difference. that's the difference. But I didn't make him. My disaster was my hair, which is always my hair. And the thing was, what happened was, because I think I'm a hairdresser, and, uh, and I really do, because I've got everything, you know, the brushes and the everything. So one, this particular time, it was a long time ago, I was about 24, and I was in a play, and I got very thick, long hair, dark hair. And one day I thought, I think I'll go blonde. <laughs> So I went and bought one of those boxes with those women on, and I thought, oh, I like her, I'll have her. So I got her home, and I put her on my head, and it went sort of a whitey blonde, and I thought, hmm, now I'd like it curly. So I went and got a perm, and got perming rollers, which I've got loads of, put all the, all the solution on, I thought, oh, this is good. Took the perming rollers out, and my hair came with it. Oh. And it also turned green. So I've now got this... I'm still in the play, in the show the next night, this long hair, beautiful long hair, to this curly green person. So then I thought, well, I can't go on stage with green hair. I'll dye it black. Oh. So I went on stage with this head, frizzy, black, burnt, red, black hair, and onto the play, and they went, Oh, God! Oh, to the glamorous oh, blonde that we got. Who's that I, jacket? Tom Jones? <laughs> I don't know. I just said, well, I want to be a hairdresser. They went, don't, don't bother. So. <laughs> OK, speaking of heads, why not?